Hi everyone and welcome. Recently, when I broke my foot, it was suggested to me that I use a compress of comfrey, which made me think about making a comfrey salve. Now this is not a new idea. People have been doing this for millennia. And even on YouTube, you can find multiple recipes and different ways to do this. This is my very own. Here I have a cup and a half of comfrey leaf that has been dried and ground. I'm adding a quarter cup of stinging nettle leaf, a quarter cup of eucalyptus leaf, and a quarter cup of peppermint leaf. Uh, the peppermint and the eucalyptus are for smell. Uh, it just makes it pleasant to smell, and that's really the main reason I'm adding those. Um, to my knowledge, the only medicinal uh, herbs here are the actual uh, comfrey and the stinging nettle. And even the stinging nettle, I know there's a lot of science about taking it internally. I don't know about putting it on externally, but it certainly can't hurt. I have been using this on my foot, and I have healed quicker than what the doctor said that I might. I'm not saying that it is necessarily this. It could just be that I would have healed anyway. But there's certainly no harm in using it. And if you look, there are a lot of purported uh, cases of people getting using this successfully. So what I'm doing is I'm putting all of these herbs into a jar just using a canning funnel there to get it in. And then I'm going to be covering this in sunflower oil. And the reason why I'm using sunflower oil as opposed to many others is that it's inexpensive, it's lightweight, and it absorbs quickly into the skin. That's the only reason. You can use whatever you choose. I don't think that that makes a big difference because this is going to be heated to 200 degrees for 10 to 12 hours and uh, sitting in a double boiler uh, so that it uh, does not uh, get direct heat. And that will infuse all of these different herbs into the oil. And then the oil is what I will use to actually make the salve with. And this is it. So I simply put the lid on it to seal it and sit it in here. And about 12 hours later, I was able to remove it from the heat. And I can tell you that you do have to check on it often because the water will evaporate off. So you do have to replace the water every few hours. So start it earlier in the morning and by evening it'll be done. Now here, I'm adding in just a little bit of beeswax. I've got about four tablespoons here uh, to the 16 ounces of oil. And I'm not putting a lot because I don't want, this is a salve after all. It doesn't have to be hard uh, like I would if I were doing a moisturizing bar or something like that. So now it's time to drain. And I've seen people use cheesecloth, I've seen people use diapers, socks, all sorts of things. And I'm simply using a sieve here to drain out all of the larger particles. And I do press down on this to get all of that precious oil and all the goodness out of these herbs down into the jar. And you'll see this oil is just a deep, dark emerald green. It's just beautiful. It really did take on the color of all of these wonderful herbs. And somehow that just adds to the appeal of it. It smells good. It looks good. And boy, does it feel good on the skin too. So here I'm adding in just 15 to 20 drops of peppermint essential oil. And that is just to back up that wonderful fresh peppermint leaf that's in here. I just, I like the smell and I like the way it feels on the skin. It's very refreshing. 
And there's my bad lighting trying to show you the label. And so it occurred to me, why is this so bright? So I turned off one of the lights to see if that would help with the label. Still really hard to read. So I turned off all the lights and looky there, you can read the label. That's with no light. So I think with this particular camera, I've been using too many lights. Yet every video I've seen on YouTube says, make sure that you have plenty of light. And here it is, my camera apparently works better with little to no light. So we'll see how that works out going forward. So now it's time to whisk in my uh, melted beeswax into my wonderful oils and get it poured into my jars. Of course, what I found real quick was that I made more than these two little jars would hold. So midway through, I have to change things up and re-pour this. So what I did is I got a 16 ounce jar <laughs> and pour, um, pouring it, or I mean an eight ounce jar, excuse me. So I'm pouring an eight ounce jar and then the four ounce jar and then a little in a smaller container just for me to use because I'd almost used up all of mine. You can see here, this is a very nice consistency. It comes off easily on the finger when you need it. And then you simply apply it to the area in need, whether it be a bruise or if you have a break, I would consult with your physician on this, on whether or not he felt it was a good thing to do or not. But I did it and I'm still here but it absorbs very nice. It is a little greasy because it's not a lotion after all. This is a salve made to sit on top of the skin and slowly absorb. So it's not going to be something you can rub until it goes in. It's simply for massaging an area. And that feels good too, by the way. So that's it, folks. I really appreciate you coming and checking out the this product. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, suggestions. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.